Hello, everybody. How are you? You set you up here nice and proper. There we go. So, today I thought that I would come to you and talk to you about divination. There is a broad spectrum, and I'm going to be doing many, 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 many videos on this topic. But today I thought that I would talk to you about something kind of fun. These are dowsing rods. So we're going to talk about divination in dowsing. Dowsing is the ability to look for a liquid in a physically solid plane. So surveyors back hundreds of years ago would take metal rods like these without the beads, I'm sure, because these are just too fancy, and they would search for water. The reason why they would do this is because people would be trying to build homes or communities and they need a well to be dug, but they didn't know where to dig because of the fact that there is no sound landmark for water. So they would use these metal rods or wooden ones. They, they had wooden ones as well as uh, copper and they had, they had all kinds of, you know, different ones. So they were used for finding water, which was very beneficial to many, many different uh, companies. And then uh, around the 1800s, they discovered that it was beneficial to help find oil. So a lot of the oil companies would have divining rods and they were, you know, surveyors with divining rods trying to find the best spots to dig for oil. Wouldn't work for gems or minerals because they're solids, looking for liquids. And a lot of the times they would find water, but that's okay because they would then put their wells down there and they would be able to have water for their workers. Um, but it was never... You know, it was kind of a crapshoot. They would dig and dig and dig and then they'd find nothing. Maybe it was just, you know, a little puddle or something. So it was very arduous work, but in the same time, it was it was also beneficial and saved a lot of time and money to do so. Um, they also used dowsing for lie detecting back in the day. They would see if you were being honest or dishonest. They would use dowsing rods to find out if there was something happening in a certain direction or if the energy was good in the in the land in that area or if there was um, if they say there's a child that got lost they would douse to try to find a lost child or lost person. It's still done today. Um, and then people started using them to try to find out where spirits were. Or, um, you know, if there's any spirits in, in this area, where are they? Or missing persons, again, same thing. Um, and then, you know, nowadays we kind of use them like pendulums. Yes, no kind of thing. So these are mine. I got them in Salem, Mass. when I worked at the Psychic Fair about five years ago. Um, they have little beads on them. I got them from my friend Nora. I think her website is Nora NoraCuster.com. Uh, so yeah. I'll look it up though, I'll make sure that way. She has beautiful gems and stuff, so it's an L-shaped rod with the little tips turned up like so. And what I do, you can do it many different ways. You can douse different ways. I like to start with my rods. And one is a bit longer. I swear one's a bit longer than the other one. But I guess the same, the same length. But whenever I hold it, I just feel like that this one's a bit bigger than this one is. Could be, I don't know. Who knows? Start with them on the on a solid surface. And I try to hold my hands a bit of a ways apart. And I like to put my 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 forefinger or my sorry, my pointer finger and my thumb at the top, and then my middle my my forefinger 
there, and then my pinky at the bottom kind of curled in. These two are loose. These and then these ones are set. The pointer, the thumb, and the pinky. So, come on, get back down. There we go. So I have my hands about this far apart. You can have them right here, like knuckle to knuckle if you want to. It'll still work. But try to have them stable in the same area. So I lay them down. I think of my question. I lift it up and they cross. Okay, so let me think of a question. So I'll, I'll ask, where, where can I bolster my wards, my security in my home? Raise. So north. East. West. Sorry, northwest. This is north. So that's you know, my front door, my living room. So I need to bolster my security in that direction. So you can ask yes or no questions. Um, you could say, you know, if there's a spirit in the house, you could say whatever you want to say. I just use it for yes and no questions about some things, like a pendulum. Um, and it does, it does work. So we will hold them like this. They don't swing as, as much as the other. I mean, they do, but they don't cross. Because they're meant to cross on occasion. They can, like so. But it's better when they're, you're closer. That way they have an even flow to cross. So, that is Dazzling Rides. I've got a ton more stuff to talk to you all about in other videos. I just hope that you enjoyed this quick little how-to and what-for of Dazzling Rods. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.